Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are here in multiplayer Leighton Lakes once again, this time to take out some Roosevelt Elk. Now we had a pretty incredible moment on stream recently, and it has sparked me to want to go for some more elk. So hopefully we can find something cool today. I'm hoping that we can come out of this with an albino or a melanistic. That would be an absolutely amazing trophy to find, considering I've never killed a melanistic one. And my biggest albino was only a level two. So if we can get something decent with either of those fur types, that would just be incredible and would be exactly what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, that looked huge. Oh, hold on a second. That looked to be a pretty large elk wherever it went. Ah, uh, yeah, that is a very solid level four. We definitely need to take that guy down if it'll uh, give us a shot. I, I don't know if we'll be able to get a shot with all these elk running around us, but if we can, we definitely will want to. However, they are going in so many different directions. I don't even know what's happening at this point. All right, so we're not going to get the one that I wanted to get. However, this one is pretty decent as well. So we will get a shot into him. Still a very solid elk, even though it isn't the one that we were aiming for. Definitely a nice one to get down regardless. Unfortunately, our shooting was a little bit subpar there. So we will have to put a second shot into him if we can even find him again. There's a decent chance that he might be gone forever, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. There's the one that we originally wanted to get. Maybe he'll give us a broadside angle. He's kind of being stubborn. However, that looked to be decent right there. And we did get a second one into him as well. So he will go down, which is nice because now we've officially got both of those big level fours that were in that group. There is the first one at 289. Unfortunately, we hit the vertebrae. I, I kind of figured that would be what it was, but I really wasn't sure. But it does look like it was sadly a vertebrae hit. So we're not going to get the full uh, metal score on that one. But then up here, we've got a even nicer looking level four. And this one we did actually hit vitally. 341 is definitely a lot better than that last one. And this guy in general just has a nicer looking rack, if you ask me. A very beautiful bull and uh, definitely the biggest thing that we've killed today. You know, every time I take down some elk, I can't help but think how the elk are going to be in the two upcoming hunting games that should be releasing this year, Way of the Hunter and Ultimate Hunting. I'm really curious how they're going to do the elk. We've kind of seen Way of the Hunter's elk and they look pretty solid. Uh, same for Ultimate Hunting. So I'm really curious to see how the elk hunting is going to be in those games, how they're going to behave, um, how versatile the different uh, antler models are going to be. I'm really excited regardless. Like I, I really want to have a game that does some really good elk hunting. Call of the Wild has it pretty good. However, I definitely would like to see the elk uh, have a little more variety in like what their herds look like and stuff like that. Other than that, I do like the Call of the Wild Elk quite a bit, but there's definitely some things that could be improved upon. Oh my gosh, that level four is absolutely huge. Now, I have heard people say that level fours do have a chance of making diamond, and apparently there's been a few people that have killed diamond level fours, so maybe this will be the first one that we've ever killed. It sure would be incredible if we could make this our first ever level four diamond, so let's see. Will this be our first ever level four? It definitely looks to be a very solid one. I got a feeling it's going to score in the 360s, however. It does look like the 360s rack, but hopefully it'll break that 381 mark and get us a diamond. Well, this is quite an interesting sight, but to be honest, it's just a normal day on Leighton Lakes. We got Whitetail, we've got Elk, and we got Moose all in the exact same area. You love to see it. This is uh, one of the reasons that people love Leighton Lakes. You can get a lot of animals crossing in the same areas. And I mean, we even got Blacktail deer there with the Elk. This is uh, quite incredible. Man, that is a beautiful bull right there. You know, this one I think might have a chance. I can't tell. Is this the small rack diamond or is this the rack that's right below it? It can be difficult to tell at first glance and not having a side a side by side comparison, but I think I think this might be the diamond rack. Oh my gosh, it was neither actually. Wait a second. What rack is this? I've never had an elk score 370. This is officially a first for me. That is crazy. I've never seen a 370 scoring Roosevelt elk. That's crazy, man. I, I did not expect that. I was expecting it to either be a 360 or a 380. And it says it's a 370. That is wild. Oh my. That is a pretty good looking level four once again. Not gonna lie, it kind of tricked me into thinking it was a level five at first glance and now that's honestly why I sounded so shocked when seeing it. I really thought that was a five for a second, 
Unfortunately, it is just a four, but that's a really good looking four, so can't really be too mad. We have been finding a lot of really good fours today, which is great. It's not every hunt that I actually do end up getting a lot of them in a pretty short amount of time. I mean, we've only been recording for about 37 minutes at this point, and we've got like three or four really nice level fours down. Oh my gosh, this is insane. The size of this herd is crazy. That is so many cow elk. That, that is just absurd. That might be one of the largest herds of elk I've ever seen. This is just a crazy amount of them. And there we have it, a very good looking level four Roosevelt elk scoring 341. Really short back times on this guy. This is uh, definitely quite the unique rack. I've only seen this one a few times when I'm hunting. Uh, to be fair though, I don't hunt elk all that often and I really don't know why. I mean, there's really nice animals in this game and they do have some decent true racks for the level fours and fives. Unfortunately, some of the smaller elk just don't look that great. Uh, however, the larger ones do look quite impressive, so I really don't understand why I haven't been hunting them more. I tend to focus a lot of my time on Leighton towards the black tail deer because I am in search of a level four rare. Or better, of course, if we found a five, I'd be pretty happy as well. But because of the fact that we've been after those so much, I haven't really put too much time into the elk, and I'm starting to think that that should change. Well, it really wouldn't be a scarecrow video without taking out a white tail deer, so I think let's go ahead and take out this really nice buck right here. Should be a great one to get down. And there is our beautiful white tail deer. This should score in the high 240s, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, it's a 239, so I was close, but not quite there. It is quite the uh, wide rack though, which is nice. Looks pretty decent. You know, at this point we have taken down quite a few decent trophies. And I think because of that, it's time we talk a little bit more about that hunt that I went on recently on live stream that kind of sparked this whole video idea right here. We were having a pretty normal stream of multiplayer hopping from map to map. And we ended up coming across something pretty incredible. Now, at first I was just searching through Leighton Lakes, looking for trophies, kind of just whatever we could find. We ended up getting into a Leighton Lake server that had it at the proper time for Roosevelt Elk. And sure enough, when I was walking along the rivers, we ended up spotting ourselves an absolute monster. Oh my gosh, dude, yes, that's huge. This is huge. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, that's huge. That is a massive level five. Oh my gosh, we got him. Dude, we got him. Oh my gosh. That is a huge elk. Oh yeah, guys, it's definitely over 400. That's a 400 plus elk right there. Whew, oh my gosh. That's the biggest elk I've seen in so long. Like that elk is absolutely huge. That is a giant elk. Oh my gosh. No joke. I think it's been like over a year and a half since I've got a big rack elk. Like minimum a year, possibly a year and a half since my last big rack Roosevelt elk. That is insane. Just an absolute giant elk. Oh my gosh. And we spotted him in such a weird spot too. Here we go guys. Look at this giant. Uh, let's just claim it. I don't want to lose it. Wow, that's really low scoring for this rack. That's actually very low sc Wow, look how weird it is. That's actually such a cool elk. It twists in a weird direction compared to the normal one. That is actually really awesome. Oh my gosh. This might be the coolest diamond elk we've ever killed. It's a little bit on the like spindly thin side, but these tops are just insane. Like it, it straight up looks like a red deer. Like no joke. This looks like the tops of red deer antlers. Normally this part right here kind of bends down and back, but uh, for this one, it's like twisting up a little bit. That is so cool. Yeah, it was very close to 400. Sadly, didn't quite break it, but that's so cool regardless. That is one of the coolest elk I've ever killed. Well, I think we have a new addition to uh, one of our multi mounts because this has to go into the multi mount. This is just too cool not to put in there. Shot placement was pretty good. We got it in there uh, right where we needed it. 
Markuli, thank you for another super chat, dude. It looks like you brought the luck, man. It looks like you brought the luck, because we just got one of the nicest elk ever. You know, with this elk just being so incredibly massive and strange looking, but also very cool looking, we had to put it in our multi-mount with the melanistic mountain lion. This is by far the most interesting elk that we have ever killed. And I gotta say, I like this rack a lot better when those back tines are kind of twisted back and up a little bit like that. It looks so much nicer than what they typically do. And we did have a pretty good example of what one of those would look like right here, but instead we have replaced it with the one that was in that mount. If I can just get up here, we can kind of get a better look at this guy. This is basically the thicker, more mass heavy version of this rack. However, this one does not have those back tines kind of twisted forward a little bit. As you can see, these ones are aimed down a bit more. And this is how it typically looks, but we got very lucky and got ourselves a crazy wonky looking one. And because of that, this really just looks very similar to a red deer when it comes to the tops. Obviously, the beams don't necessarily look like a red deer, but those tops right there, they look very clustered up like red deer tend to be. And I think that looks really cool. This is a very awesome elk and definitely a one of a kind trophy. I doubt we'll ever get one that looks similar to this. So this is just an amazing thing to get. And also, I saw quite a few of you guys talking in the comments of one of our previous videos where I asked you guys where we should put the piebald coyote. And a lot of you were saying that it should go in the mount over here. So I think what we're going to do is replace this diamond with this piebald and then put our diamond on the uh, position that that female piebald is in. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we have it, our brand new emergency takeoff mount that looks so good. I really like the way that looks. I'm glad that you guys voted for putting it on this mount because that is just so cool. I really like the way that looks, especially next to the leucistic. Honestly, they've got very similar coloration, so I do think this works out very well. I'm very happy with that setup. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you think is the best looking Roosevelt elk rack, and I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!